uh, letter na ipapadala namin, then we will give you the update uh, soonest po. But as far as former Tagaytay City Mayor and now Cavite 8 District Representative Bambol Tolentino is concerned, it's business as usual in Tagaytay. In an interview on CNN Philippines Balitaan, Tolentino cites the autonomy of the local governments as stated in the local government code. Yes, definitely. Kasama sa 14 kilometer radius if you will use compass and geomap. But practically, hindi naman ganun. Uh, uh, ano isa, sakay ba ng bus yung labat? Paakit pa ng tagay, ng tagay Maybe millions of years ago. So with, with this situation, si LGU pa rin susun. Interior Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya meanwhile clarifies that only 8 of 34 barangays of the city are susceptible to hazards related to the Al volcano eruption. Malaya says unless the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FIVOX removes these barangay from the danger list, they have to enforce the evacuation and closure of businesses in the involved barangays. We consider kasi uh, local governments as our partners. Wala naman uh, ditong conflict uh, supposedly. So para sa amin lang, uh, let us uh, clarify from FIVOX kasi kami ang pinangahawakan namin is their hazard map. So, if uh, at ang sinasabi nilang source din naman is the is at uh, is the P-box then. But in a statement, Interior Secretary Eduardo Año recognizes that there are parts of Tagaytay that are within Taal's 14 kilometer radius danger zone, but they are declared safe because of its high altitude. Now he leaves it up to the local government unit whether or not to allow establishments to resume operation. At the end of the day, establishments here in Tagaytay vow to follow government advisories, but they just hope that rules will be clear so that they may act properly. From Tagaytay City, George Cahiles, CNN Philippines. We now speak with the Interior Secretary, Eduardo Año. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, Pia. Good evening. Good evening to our listeners and uh, fellow viewers. Yeah, Secretary Anyo, can we get one very clear signal from the DILG? Because uh, Yusek Den Singh is saying no businesses should be operating in Tagaytay City. If they do, uh, they will write uh, to the mayors to tell them to close down or to, to uh, take back the business permits or the police will come in. Uh, Yusek Malaya said uh, unless FIVOLs remove the 8 out of 24 barangays uh, in the city under the danger list, uh, the evacuation and closure business must be enforced. And then you are saying something else also. So... Which is which, sir? What? what who, well, uh, yeah, you know, just, decision on DILG. Yeah, I just issued my latest advisory today. Uh, there are certain the pronouncement of uh, Yusuf Densing was based on the uh, advisory office of PBOX last week mm -hmm. when uh, PBOX issued uh, 199 barangays uh, as part of uh, the uh, PDZ or uh, permanent uh, danger zone or danger zone. Uh, within the 14 kilometers radius. But then it also clarified that lately that uh, those areas in Tagaytay located or situated in the higher altitude are actually safe areas. So in my uh, latest advisory, uh, in those areas, I will let the LGU or the local chief executives to exercise its discretion whether those establishments will be allowed to Open. Secretary Anya, if you look at the map and uh, the, uh, the illustration that shows the 14-kilometer uh, radius danger zone, uh, it is true uh, a huge swath, a huge part of Tagaytay City is covered by that 14-kilometer radius danger zone. And there's a very thin, a very small area on the left, on the upper left and on the upper right, uh, that is not covered by that uh, danger zone. You're saying po, those areas, yun ang exempted. In other words, yeah, so doon lang, doon lang pwedeng magbukas ang mga establishments. Yeah, if you look at uh, the map, makikita mo may mga pumasok sa kilometers radius. But if you look at the geo hazard map, nakita ko na even pumasok sa 14 kilometers. So, yes, sir. Secretary Anya, we're having a little bit of difficulty uh, with the communication line, sir? Sir? Sure. All right, we're going to try and get uh, Secretary Anya back. We, back. we just have uh, one or two questions left for him in the meantime. 
Uh, we're gonna go first uh, to a uh, break. Jen and Brad meet again and fans can't get enough. This is Newsnight, where we go above and beyond the headlines.